Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Want your most burning finance and investing questions answered? Here's a podcast you should be listening to, courtesy of ACAST Recommends. Are you ready for some personality in your personal finances? Hi, I'm Janice Torres Rodriguez, Latina money expert and host of the award-winning podcast, Yo Quiero Dinero. On this show, we're serving up POC-friendly personal finance knowledge, always with a side of sass. We're not talking about avocado toast and lattes on this show. We've got real, relatable personal finance knowledge that makes you feel seen, heard, and finally understood. Consider me your super cool, slightly risque, but always honest financial fairy godmother. Together, we'll tackle dinero in a fresh new way so you can finally become poderosa with your dinero. Check out our weekly podcast episodes at YoQuieroDineroPodcast.com or subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick. And apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, let's see. It was a continuation of Job... Kind of going back off on his friends mm-hmm. and saying, fuck the fuck off, basically. Yeah. Or, was, you know, that-ish. He was defending his integrity. Right, basically. right, right, right. But my favorite line, or one of them, because this had quite a few gems, was, yeah. your maxims are proverbs of ashes. Yes. Your defenses are defenses of clay. That's right. That's right. I got to remember, so I gotta remember that line, because that's so I know, great. I know. Oh, I need to get on Twitter and use that tonight. Mm-hmm. Your defenses are defenses of clay. Of mm. ashes. A- no. What? No, you're absolutely Oh, no, wrong. you're right. You're yeah. right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And then we kind of went off on uh, moths. And moths. Mothballs. Yeah. 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 And, and I, I looked up mothballs and people still use them, but they're pretty fucking toxic. Right. Yeah. Wow. I, di- I didn't know that because I don't, I'm not a mothball person. Right. Nor am I. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Um. So, anyway, that was... uh. That was Job chapter 13. Before we get any further, we do have someone to shout out here today. Another one? Yeah. Yeah. What? We're, we're going to, um, so we got a new patron. Um, and again, we're running late on getting these out, but thank you, Anne. Anne, thank you so much. It's just amazing. I mean, like, you, you, I know I've met you on, like, talked to you on Twitter. So that's cool. And, and, and Anne is not a, um, ex-Christian or even like a deconstructing Christian, they're an ex-Jew. That is a very unique situation. Right. Yeah. That's one of the, 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 I don't, we don't run across that one as often as we do other things. Well, especially because there's the question between the cultural Jewish versus um, um, ethnic Jewish. And like, those are two separate things that, Usually overlap, but not always. Right. Well, one of the things that I thought was really cool that they told us is that they used our podcast as a reason to talk to their parents about the Bible or, well, the Torah. Torah, Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, And bring up some stories that that had been bothering them. And their parents are like, really? That's in there? And they had no idea. And that is so cool that we were able to facilitate that. Yeah. No, that makes us so happy. Like, we love hearing these stories. I mean, it... It really does actually bring a smile to our faces, and we we just love it. Like, I mean, it, 
we never thought we would have this kind of an impact on anybody. No, no. Let alone lots of people. No, we just thought, I mean, we were just talking about this before we started recording. Yeah. That our, our main goal was we thought that we would either make people laugh or piss people off. Yeah. And it never occurred to us, not even for one second, that... It would be anything more. That it would be helpful or useful or healing. Right, right. Or anything like that. Yeah, so it's it's really wonderful hearing these stories. And it really has actually, over the time that we've been doing this podcast, changed kind of how we do our podcast. I think that's why we do the Q&As now. And that's why we do... The rabbit holes. The rabbit holes, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's people are here to learn a little bit about the the book. Yeah. So, and, and, and in a different way from somebody mm-hmm. who's never done it before so right it's right. just really really cool so and thank you so much yes for your support. thank you we Anne. really appreciate you it's really great um if you would like to become a patron and help us you know further our podcast and make this more than what it is right now um you can go to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and become a supporting member for as low as two dollars a month our cat's whining in the background because obviously um she wants you to join. She wants you to join. Yeah, that, that's got to be what it is. She's, she's crying. She's crying because you yeah, haven't she joined needs yet. She needs you to join. She'll, maybe she'll stop crying then. Isn't that right? Dagny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, enough about Patreon. That was Job chapter 13. Sure as fuck was. And we are now today reading... Job chapter 14. Let's go read this. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okay, Job, chapter 14. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. Job is still talking. Is he? Damn, he's going on for a bit. He is going off. Yeah. Mortals, born of woman, are of few days and full of trouble. Yeah, mortals, you, you're you few days and few of trouble. Lots of trouble. Trouble. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> right here in River City. Yeah. But only the ones born of woman. Yes, not... Not the other ones. Not the ones born of not woman. Right. <laughs> they spring up like flowers and wither away. Like fleeting shadows. They do not endure. I mean, death. that's, yeah. Death. It's There's life. Not that's life. Yep, yep. That's the disease, right? Right, yeah. Do you fix your eye on them? Will you bring them before you for judgment? Who can bring what is pure from the impure? No one! Exclamation point. No one. Okay. People die. And then, and why aren't you looking at them? Yeah, I, yeah I don't, I'm not really following this exactly. Oh. Like what, what is, okay. And then? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Um, a person's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set limits he cannot exceed. I mean, according to the Bible, yeah, you can't go over, what was it, 120? Right. At least, right. but then they broke that a few times. Hundred times, so <laughs> it's true. It's true. Even after they decree, but I think he's saying, you know, your days are numbered, right? Yeah, and um, God knows when you're going to die, and and it's already been foreseen. Got it. Yeah. So look away from him and let him alone till he is put in his time like a hired laborer. He's telling God. Okay. You already know You're, when these yeah. people are going to die. Well, Just fucking leave them alone. Isn't that kind of some of some of the argument that we we have a lot of times? Like, why if you if you you already know, so why do you need all this? You know, extra attention, right? Or yeah, like, what do you care? You already yeah. fucking know. Yeah, right. Job is kind of cool, right he's, here. He's, he calls out a lot of shit that we have questions about. Yeah, like I kind of admire it. Yeah. Uh, the I'm, question is, do they get answered? Because I don't think they're going to get answered. I don't know. I mean, I. I wonder if if God is going to respond here at all. I mean, right, we keep right. asking, like, what is the resolution here? And I don't know the end of this story. Right, right. At least there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its new shoots will not fail. I mean, they might. They yeah, they might. They might. It's true. Not not all tree seeds grow to fruition. Right. You know. Right. Sometimes acorns and pine cones don't grow trees. Can you imagine if every tree seed and right? sapling grew to fruition? That's what I'm saying. Like be a really fucking busy tree world. And what about all the places where like floods and and droughts like Right. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Sahara Desert. They don't they don't go out they don't go grow so out well there, there very well. No. And what about what about like we chop down 
a lot of trees. We do. We chop down do. and we burn a and lot of And then we put pavement trees. over top of it. Mm. And put up a parking lot. We're not going to grow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You almost missed that. <laughs> <laughs> its roots may grow old in the ground and its stump die in the soil, yet at the scent of water, it will bud and put forth shoots like a plant. Mm. That's not exactly the way that works, but I'll, okay. I, I see the imagery you're going for. Here. Right, right. But a man dies and is laid low. He breathes his last and is no more. That That is true. You can propagate plants. You cannot propagate arms or legs of humans definitely not yeah but i like how he says they are no more like Mm -hmm. um that that's uh it's interesting i missed that so yeah that is interesting right um it makes you wonder about what is Is your thoughts on afterlife right is that an admission of there is no astro afterlife although he was talking also about afterlife earlier right so so i mean maybe he means just your body could be could be as the water of a lake dries up or a riverbed becomes parched and dry, so he lies down and does not rise. Right. Till the heavens are no more, people will not awake or be roused from their sleep. Got it. Okay. Well, then, then, so. Dead um, is dead. That is, yeah. Yeah. Yep. If only you would hide me in the grave and conceal me till your anger is past. If only you would set me a time and then remember me. <laughs> if someone dies, will they live again? All the days of my hard service, I will wait for my renewal to come. You will call and I will answer you. You will long for the creature your hands have made. Well, this this uh, this is reminding me of a question that I have and something that I want to delve into at some point, too. Mm-hmm. And that's, what is the Jewish idea of afterlife? I don't really know what it is. You asked me that last time. Yeah. And... So, yeah, if anybody but I think, wants to... I think to... that this book is asking a lot of questions right. that need to be answered because we are still in the Old Testament. Yeah. And I don't know the answers to these things. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. So if anybody wants to talk about that, right. you know, let us know. Yeah. Surely then you will count my steps. My phone counts my steps. It does. Mine and, does too. Oh, I was delivering DoorDash the other day yeah. and I did... Like 60,000 steps. 60,000? Or some shit like that. No, it was 6,000. Sorry, you know, oh, I'm bad with numbers. Okay. And and so um, our kid tries to do 1,000 steps a day. That's not that <laughs> that's much. Not, that's not that much. But they're very sedentary. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. So 1,000 steps a day, they're like, goal. I took a shower and I did 1,000 <laughs> steps. Yes. And um, so doing 6,000, I don't know why I said 60. I apologize. You know, I'm bad with numbers. That's all right. But the fact that I did 6,000 that day, I was like, holy shit balls. Like, that's a lot for me. Wow. (laughs) Okay, sorry. So counting steps, but not keep track of my sin. Right. Okay. So he's like, you know everything I do, but not my sin, huh? Right. Can't name it. Right. My offenses will be sealed up in a bag. In a bag. These nuts. Huh? <laughs> you will cover over my sin. I, I'm okay. not really following all this, are you? I mean, he's he's questioning God. He's yeah. he's asking questions like, dude, what you know, I think he's just questioning like, his motives gives? and stuff, you know, like that's all that's going on here. But as a mountain erodes and crumbles, and as a rock is moved from its place, as water wears away stones. And torrents wash away the soil, so you destroy a person's hope. Damn. Yeah. No, it's definitely doing that. That is hardcore. Yeah, he's not happy with God. Mm-mm. You overpower them once for all, and they are gone. You change their countenance and send them away. If their children are honored, they do not know it. If their offspring are brought low, they do not see it. They feel but the pain of their own bodies and mourn only for themselves. The end. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I I don't even know what to say. I mean, that was, I I really like the way that was written. Yeah, no, I I, I actually appreciate the fact that he's calling God out on some of this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's good. He has feelings. Yeah, no, he's, I mean, I would too. Well, it's just that in some of the other um, chapters, we've been told he said this and he felt that. 
Right. And he pulled his hair out or whatever because sure. he was distraught. And this, this is the first time that we're hearing from a person who are telling us. This is how I this feel. This is how I feel. This is what's happening. These are the questions I have. Right, right. And that's interesting to no, me. No, it's definitely a good insight into, like, I appreciate how it's given me a, a, a line of thought into how they're, how people, and, and Job, I mean, but but people thought about God right. and, and the questions they might have had, because obviously they are questioning actions of God. They just have to find beautiful ways to say it and right. reasons to say it, right? right. And we're, we have questions about God in the Bible. Right. Like we're reading the Bible and there are literally questions about God's motives in the Bible. Right. Some from, of the same questions that we have. From a person who is a righteous man, an upright, upstanding guy, right. um, free of sin or whatever, like the good guy, yeah, you know, or blameless, I, not sinless, but blameless. I just find it very refreshing and intriguing mm -hmm. that a lot of the the questions that Job has toward God are a lot of the questions that you and I would have towards a God if mm -hmm. they were real. Yeah. Like, these are questions that we ha would ask because, yeah, what are you doing? What what the fuck is this shit? You know, like, come on, man. We would ask it differently. Yeah. But, you know, uh, you know. Definitely not as poetic. Similar, we would have similar questions. Yes, indeed we would because so, we do, because we have. I appreciate Job. You Me know? too. I think it's, Me too. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of healthy, actually. Right, right. Because we haven't seen anybody else question for ad nauseum, like on right, and on right. and on. And, yeah. and not be punished for it. And I feel like, I mean, you know, if we take previous things in the Bible into account, I feel like God's giving Job a long leash here mm -hmm. to question him because of the situation, maybe. Right. Um, and, and and that's just my, like, I'm hypothesizing here based on a fucking fictional story, but right. whatever. Still, he, other people would have questioned just a little and get punished, but Job right. is like, no, I'm going to question it all. Cause For fuck several off. chapters in a row. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and God has not responded. But I like but the long leash. Them, yeah, me too. I like the, the, we're able to hear the questions that Job slash people have right. toward God, you know? Not only are the questions justified, but like the questions themselves are justified, but also Job is justified in asking them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he has a valid reason to be asking these questions. Yeah, yeah. And God is allowing for it in this story. Right. So that's really cool. Um, I think that's all we really got for today. Yes. That was Job chapter 14. Sure as fuck was. And we will be back tomorrow with... Job chapter 15. All right. We'll see you guys then. Yep. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh, my God. God, stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Want your most burning finance and investing questions answered? Here's a podcast you should be listening to. Courtesy of ACAST Recommends. Are you ready for some personality in your personal finances? 
Hi, I'm Janice Torres Rodriguez, Latina money expert and host of the award-winning podcast, Yo Quiero Dinero. On this show, we're serving up POC-friendly personal finance knowledge, always with a side of sass. We're not talking about avocado toast and lattes on this show. We've got real, relatable personal finance knowledge that makes you feel seen, heard, and finally understood. Consider me your super cool, slightly risque, but always honest financial fairy godmother. Together, we'll tackle dinero in a fresh new way so you can finally become poderosa with your dinero. Check out our weekly podcast episodes at YoQuieroDineroPodcast.com or subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com <laughs>